Hey there everybody, my name is Kedron, welcome back for another video of NHL 21 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. Now in the last video, we went ahead and get, uh, went past the free agency, the uh, draft lottery of course, and the contracts and everything. And we simulated more than half of the season. Uh, and so basically we're at 50 games played right now. We had a fantastic season so far. The worst simulation we had uh, was the previous one right here as you can see 6-2-2. Two, two. That was our worst simulation by far. The other ones were all 8-0-2 oh, or 10-0 basically. So we were doing fantastic uh, so far. We are by far the best uh, team of the league. The Bruins are hard to beat though. Because look at the Bruins. They're still at 72, um, win 72 points I guess. They've got 33 wins. They're doing fantastic on their part. I think they're the only challenge we're, uh, we ha we're having basically this year but uh, for the President's Trophy. But I think we should be all right. So what we're going to do here is obviously we're going to move on to uh, the uh, 60th uh, game right away. I'm not going to mess around right here. We got a fantastic team, a fantastic roster. I don't want to mess, mess anything up. We're going to move out to this uh, 60th pick. Hold on. So all the way up to the Buffalo Sabres game, boys. That's going to be the 60th uh, game done. So uh, at that point, of course, we're going to do like always. We're going to do the free, uh, not a free agency, but we're going to do the trade deadline and everything. Do our due diligence and obviously look at uh, the rosters. If uh, anybody's interested in uh, trading, uh, uh, being interesting in, uh, in trades and stuff like that. But don't think it's going to happen. Now we did have, we started off with two losses there. There was a, finally a win against Dallas. We gotta keep things together, boys. In the last video, we were uh, really doing fantastic. So I wanna really keep doing fantastic. Oh, there we go. There's a third loss right there. So we're starting to fall apart a little bit here towards the end of the season. It looks like the second half, it doesn't look to be as kind to us as uh, the, the first half was. I mean, we're still winning more, uh, more than we're losing, but look at that, I mean, we had three losses right there, just like that. And now at least we got three uh, three wins. So there we go. There's another win, the three-game winning streak. Let's keep the, those winning streak going, man. Oh, there's another loss. So that's the most amount of losses we've got in regulation during our simulation so far. Another loss again in overtime. So we got a point at least out of that. And we got a win. Okay, good. There's a win against Panthers at least. So... Not too, um, not too good right there, that one. So the last record of 5-4-1. Uh, we're actually trending down. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, towards the trade deadline, we might have to do a trade or something. I don't know, boys. Everybody else is going to start catching up to us if we're not careful, boys. We do have 45 wins. But I want to get the President's Trophy. We're doing so well. You know, I want to get it. So uh, let's take a look uh, around the league. First off. Uh, team uh, team stats, right? We got to make sure that uh, we are doing fantastic. So far, we can already see we're the best uh, offensive team. Uh, we are the best defensive team. So five on five, there's nothing we can we have to change. Um, I guess, where are we at? Oh, we are the best power play. There we go. We are the best power play. Penalty kill needs to be upgraded. So our penalty kill is the problem right here. It needs to be upgraded, boys. So I can fix that. I can fix that no problem. Uh, we are going to take a look first though for I guess the the other stuff, the the main roster. Who's uh who's interesting uh who's interesting in terms of maybe getting traded and stuff like that. So uh let's see right quick. So I'm not going to trade anybody of these guys. Uh these guys are good. What about uh oh Capo Caco? No, he's still an 86, so he didn't grow yet. He didn't grow yet, but he's doing a, he's having a good season. Uh, Backstrom doesn't have any value. Uh, we've got Barry, I guess. Yeah, Tyson uh, Tyson Barry, boys, could be a good, valuable player. We could trade right here, 33 years of age. He's going to drop soon. Uh, exact top four, 85 overall, and he's got that high uh, that high value right there. So that could be a one. Uh, that could be one. Uh, Truba, Rack, uh, Ricard Raquel as well. We've got some couple of players like that we can definitely trade away it looks like get some compelled valuable players boys why not so i think I've, we got something right here we got something for sure now I, i'm not sure if if it's really going to be that good but uh, we'll see i'm going to keep middle stat for sure miller i'm keeping him bushnevich not really 
there's not really anybody here that uh, in the low 80s that's really worry uh worrisome boy so i think uh really we gotta start looking at these terms right here and the best option would either be right here to either be buyer uh, barry because he's got a really good potential we could have an elite big time elite player for him like another Klimberg type of player or we could try and trade for a smaller player, but uh, get rid of uh, like just a small upgrade for uh, Johansson or something like that, right? Someone like Johansson, for example, which is not growing anymore or a Malkin, but Malkin, I like him a lot. I don't want to change anything, but maybe the defense. I don't know. Uh, we're going to take a look around the league first for defensemen. Uh, there might be something available. There's always something available, actually. So. You never know we might be able to find something right here hold on uh let's go back to def defense there we go okay let's find some stuff boys let's find some good valuable players right here so you can already see in the same value as a tyson berry i could possibly get a john carlson now 35 years of age at top four so i might not want to take him uh, but we got some good players elite players and stuff look at that I mean, uh, Drew Dolly is a 35 years of age, though. I mean, he still has that exact elite potential. We got Petriangelo as well. So we got some good players right here. Now, Drew Dolly, uh, Dolly what is he? He's a two-way D, man. But, uh, okay, so his discipline all the way down there. He doesn't have any discipline, boys. That is not good. No discipline in offensive awareness. Uh, it, it's good. It's up there, but I don't know, boys. I don't know. What about uh, anybody else? Let's take a look really quick. So these guys, I'm not gonna be able to take these guys. I'm pretty sure, but I could be. Uh, I could possibly take one uh, one of these guys right here. Uh, I, I I want somebody that's not gonna drop the next year. You know, I could get a, a Rasmus Dahlin. Uh, this guy, yeah. Well, darlene has got the discipline and offensive awareness way up there. But the, the problem is it's uh, both or below the overalls right here. So I don't like that. Do not like that. Warinsky. What about him? Ah, uh, no, it's on par and discipline's not out there. Nope, I'm not taking him. Seth Jones. Seth Jones doesn't have it either. It's not all players who have these types of abilities, especially for demon. It's hard to find the right player for this type uh, of stuff, really. I mean, I could take any defenseman, really, but I don't want to make a, a mistake right here. What about Kale McCarr? I mean, Kale McCarr is really up there in terms of uh, offensive awareness. Maybe I could get him. Is he a, like an offensive deep? He's a, he is an offensive D-man. Okay. Uh, I found him, boys. I found the guy I needed. Uh, Eric Brandstrom right there. Look at that. 96 and 93 overall. Uh, in the discipline and offensive awareness uh, stats right there. So that's the guy I want. That's what, what that's, that's what I'm looking for, boys. A guy like this. Let's try and see if we can't trade for him. That would be something else. That would be a massive trade if that was the case. I I would definitely need a player like this. So let's try and figure out, can we get this guy? I mean, Tyson Berry, there we go. Now, we're going to have to give them something. Yeah, we're going to have to give them something in return. Uh, let's try and give them maybe... A third? I don't think a third's gonna work, boys. No, it's not gonna work. So I think uh, a second. I'm not going as high as a second, though. So a second round pick. Okay, so not quite enough. Uh, we could possibly give them like a, a rookie skater or something. We can definitely give them a rookie skater or something, boys. So uh, the only rookie skater I've got, it looks like to be a top six. Which I don't like, but uh, I could give them that. A second round pick and rolling is a medium top six, boys. We drafted him in the first round. I think uh, last year, yeah. Last year we drafted him in the first round. With Barry ex uh, for uh, Brandstrom, is it going to go through? Not even. Wow, they're asking for a lot for Brandstrom, boys. They're actually really asking for a lot for Brandstrom. That's kind of crazy. Did not expect that. Did not expect that whatsoever right here. Second and a third, I guess. Not Okay, no. All right. So it's not happening. It's not happening. We're not getting Brandstrom uh, already. I'm not going to waste too much time trying to find a goddamn trade for Brandstrom. Didn't want to trade him. That's fine by me, boys. I'm not going to, like, waste my time or anything. 
uh there's a potential right here 87 overall i'm not getting uh below the 87s though so uh, 87 that could be a good potential right here he's uh he's got that exact elite is wrist alignment boys yeah i think he could be a good option i think he could be a good option let's see really quick though he's tied up for offensive awareness discipline's not up there discipline is not up there boys neither is poise so not a good i don't want a guy like that boys that's the problem i don't want guys like these i do not want guys like these if i can go up again let me see maybe i can get the dowdy maybe uh he's got 90 and 90. let's try and get a drew dowdy why not let's like a uh, veterans at this point i don't care i just want a quick upgrade so he's got that 89 overall so maybe he can definitely upgrade uh like be a big upgrade or something there we go i'm giving more so uh dowdy they can give me something in return that would be great um some couple of third uh, first uh, second round picks maybe say uh, so they don't have any second round picks that's soon enough so maybe a third two third rounds there we go two third round picks and a uh, dowdy for barry boys and that's gonna go through so there we go we got uh, uh drew dowdy in the team so there's an upgrade right there for a uh, defensive wise at least for this year obviously he's gonna drop after this year for sure but uh we got him uh at least good enough for this year to play with uh, a klimberg and stuff like that so that's an upgrade boys now the other stuff that we saw uh i don't know exactly where this is all gonna go boys but uh, the other stuff that we saw was um i think offensive right uh in the offense side so we're gonna have to take a look at that now daldi yeah you're gonna play here uh you are a defensive defense uh, uh an, you're a two-way right yeah you're a two-way just like uh naturally clean birds are the offensive good okay so he's an 89 so yeah he's well below well above everybody else right here yeah so this is perfect as it is we can keep that uh as it is right here we don't have anybody here uh Teravinen doesn't have that uh high up of stats we i'm still gonna see if i can't upgrade anybody right here all done all right so we're back into trade stuff uh let's see if we there's not anybody that we could possibly trade like uh for an 87 overall or something boys now for the next upgrade it would have to be for the 85s it would have to be an 88 it would have to be at least an 88 overall if it's in the 85 and um for the 84s it's the same thing it's got to be an 88 so you were better to just uh, upgrade an 85 or something uh, i don't know there's not a lot of options right here really not a lot of options i could try and trade away malkin right away but uh i like what he's doing for us he's doing great for us i'm not gonna move that up maybe an upgrade somewhere else i don't know like another upgrade for a defensive side i guess uh, Truba, or maybe we could upgrade a uh, recurred Raquel, boys. Which he's doing fantastic for us, maybe, but maybe we could upgrade him. Uh, he's good, though. He's really good for, for us. I don't know. We could try that out. Uh, let's, let's try some stuff out. Uh, forwards. Let's go see forwards. Is there any uh, forwards that has that high value of potential right here? Uh, I guess high va uh, or low value that we can trade for or anything. All right, so I said it was gonna it needed to be in the 88s, boys. There's nobody in the 88s except for a certain Ovechkin. So Ovechkin could be a possible one. Now the problem is he's an exact top six. He's 39 years of age, and he's got 49 goals this season. God damn! Yeah, he's starting to show up again. There we go. He's. I think he might. Uh, he, I think he, he beat the record, right? I think he uh, he got the record now. He's the best goal scorer of all time right now. Uh, which is fantastic but i think uh what i want to go for here is i definitely want to go for someone that can score goals so i think a vetchkin could be a great one but i don't think i have anybody let's go just to trade asset really quick i don't need to upgrade the left wing position that's the problem i, I don't need to upgrade the le left wing position boys and i'm not gonna trade lafreniere away that's not gonna happen so yeah i don't need to upgrade the left wing uh, can Ovechkin play on the uh, on the right wing? I don't know. He can't. He can't play on the right wing. He's a winger though, so you can always like mesh mesh uh, mesh that uh, that part up. But 
I don't know, boys. I, I don't know. Yeah, I. We don't have space for an Ovechkin, boys. It's the right wing position that we got. So, I don't see anything else that we could possibly trade. I don't see anybody else for trade wise. So we're just gonna uh, leave it be. Uh, we got the trade we needed. I don't have any other trades I can really do right now. I feel like we're doing just fine with the trade system and everything. Let me just see a uh, special uh, teams. Is there uh, okay? So they did put uh, Drew Dowdy in there, which is uh, fine by me. Yeah, fine by me. All right, so we're good on that part. Uh, we're gonna s uh, start the simulation again. I want to see if we're gonna be able to uh, to win some games now with a brand new trade. We got the uh, addition with Dowdy and the team. It can only help out our team even more. And by the way, also, yeah, we, I do need to upgrade the strategies. I forgot as we win the, the first game in shootout. I need to upgrade the strategies uh, for penalty kill. Uh, large box not doing it. Maybe uh, passive box going to do the trick. You never know. Uh, passive box might do the trick, boys. I don't know. A five on five is working out tremendously for us. And power play as well. So it's just the penalty kill struggling a little bit. There's bound to be something that's not working out, right? So uh, there's a first win against Buffalo, of course. Uh, Ottawa Senators coach got uh, got fired. Uh, I'm going to continue simming right here. Uh, let's see. So we're going to win against the Docs. And what are the big trades that are going to happen this year, boys? I'm, I'm excited. Is Ovechkin uh, going to be traded? Is he going to be traded? We got a, a, a loss against... Uh, the Anaheim Ducks right there. That's not good. All right, let's find out. Any big trades that happen right here. So let's uh, let's take a look. Anybody else? There's Ev uh, Evgeny uh, Zvechnikov going to Toronto, boys. Okay. Joshua Osang going to uh, Carolina uh, once again. Okay. I don't see anybody. Uh, Faxa. I don't really see anybody right now. Uh, Jordan Cairo, I guess. Going to Nashville. Lekanen, okay. Uh, PK Subin going to uh, Tampa Bay Boys for a first round pick. All right, all right. Uh, Stas, I guess where uh, where's everybody else? Uh, did the uh, can get traded? I don't think so. Montreal trades away Oscar Lindblom and Ryan Graves in exchange for a first round pick and a seventh. Okay. Well, Mister uh, Eric Kane, uh, not Eric Kane. What the hell? Evander Kane traded to Columbus for basically boomy story and stuff like that okay so nothing the biggest trade was by far the tyson berry trade for us so there's nothing else really quick uh really that happened so that's gonna be four that's gonna be six eight and ten so all the way up to the carolina hurricanes game boys at 70 games played we're almost at the end of the, we're basically at the end of the season here we got three losses in regulation in a row here ever since we got a dowdy doesn't look like it's going so well for us yeah, it's not going at all. It's not going well at all. We're starting to lose games now. There we go. There's finally two wins in a row. Uh, can we get some, uh, at least, yeah, there we go. A little bit of a winning streak going. Malkin was injured. I guess it was a minor injury because I didn't have to change the rosters or anything. Okay, so at least we finish up with a four-game winning streak. Uh, at least to break this so I want to, uh, and put us at 50 wins in this season. So 5-3-2. Uh, and two. See, we're not getting, we're kind of trending down in terms of wins. I don't know why that is. I mean, I upgraded my team even, so I don't know why that is. I think I pretty much I have the President's Trophy at this point. I don't think anybody can catch me, boys, in terms of points. Well, they can still catch me. I mean, there's still 12 games remaining, but uh, I feel like it's very unlikely that that uh, might happen. That's for sure. Uh, let's just take a look real quick. We're still the best offensive team. Still the best defensive team. Five on five doesn't need to be changed. We scout, The power play is the best one. Penalty kill is... I think it's going up. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure if it's going up. Actually, I mean, we were we were right here. And now we're actually second to worst. So I don't know if it's going up or not, boys. So i have no idea i have no idea if the power play is going up i do know it's at 75 percent so uh, we're gonna keep an eye on that uh, let's simulate the rest of uh, the the games i guess the rest of the simulation right here boys we might as well let's go let's simulate the rest of the the season there's a, a win against uh carolina but a loss against ottawa they're gonna have a shootout win against nashville i'm losing my voice 
a win against uh, Anaheim, another win against Pittsburgh. So it looks like we're getting a lot of time on the power play, uh, not power plays, but overtimes and shootouts. But we're winning these games at least. So we're getting these bonus points. We're getting it done at least. Uh, uh, all right, not too shabby, boys. Not too shabby. I think uh, we ended up being pretty good. It looks like it's the it's going to be the Toronto Maple Leafs in the first round against us. So that's quite interesting. We're going to take a look really quick if we uh, upgraded ourselves in terms of power play. If it was going down or uh, up or not. Uh, we did finish, I think. Let's uh, take a look at the entire league. Did we finish first? We did. So we got the President's Trophy once again, boys. So once again, we get the President's Trophy just like that. That is uh, fantastic right here. That's just a fantastic thing. So uh, we finished up. Yeah, actually trending down in terms of goals somehow. Uh, penalty kill, I guess, uh, or goals against was still the best. And uh, power play still the best. Now penalty kill, where's it at? Yeah, it's going up. It's going up. Yes, yeah, it went from 79, uh, 75 to 79% uh, percent, boys. So it's going up. So we're good. I found the right uh, setting, I guess it was uh, to be the passive box. All right. So the best score of our team this year was Evgeny Malkin, boys, 42 uh, goals. We got Panarin, 37 goals. Larkin, 33. Capo Caco, 31 goals. Uh, Point-wise, the best player of our team was Larkin by far with uh, 98 points. Really great season for uh, uh, Larkin, boys. Fantastic season for him. Uh, I think it's his best season of his career. Yes, it is. With us, boys. That's fantastic. Uh, Capo Caco, uh, 85 points, boys. Really good. I think he's definitely going to move up to an 88 or an 89 overall uh, next year at least. Or something like that uh, with that uh, good season. So his best season by far of his career. Plus 50 as well. What a fantastic first line we had, boys, this entire season. Panarin, 80 points. Now, that's better than last year. Yeah, definitely a lot better than last year. Uh, he definitely produced like he's supposed to produce. We've got Malkin still doing 79 points as at 38 years of age, boys. So, he still got it. Now, he's starting to drop in terms of production, but he still got it. He's still scoring goals and stuff. So, hey, good for him. And uh, we've got uh, Lafreniere at 79 points as well, you know. So... The second line was really working out. The second line really worked out. I think Lafreniere playing with Malkin really helped him out production-wise. Uh, it's definitely going to help him grow. That's for sure. Backstrom. Uh, we've got Rackle. So kind of the same old, same old. It looks like nothing else. What about Boudin, boys? 18 points. 14 goals this season. So a worse season than last year. I guess is that infamous second year. That's the rough one for the rookies, right? Uh, this one was pretty rough for him. Uh, he, playing on the fourth line is not helping him. Uh, he needs to... Basically, he needs to play a lot more time on ice. But the problem is I don't have space for him. I literally do not have space for him. I can't play him anywhere uh, compared to everybody else. He's a low overall, right? So I can't really play him anywhere. Uh, Abramov, all of this. So defensive side. Our best defenseman was Klimbert, 49 points. 46 points for Dowdy, but he came by with us at the end right here. So he got 16 points in 22 games played for us. So a lot uh, a lot better with the, the Kings, that's for sure. I don't see really anybody else. Miller is going up uh, for sure. And goalie-wise, 51, win, uh, uh, yeah, 51 wins for uh, Shishterkin. That's crazy. Now, he had a bit of a drop this season for a saving percentage-wise, but look at the amount of wins he got. That's crazy. All right, let's take a look around the league, boys. So we're going to take a look at the entire rosters first. Best score of the league this year. Uh, 56 uh, goals. It was going to be Ovechkin. So we finished up. He's going to finish his entire career for, uh, with Washington. He didn't get traded. Uh, that's good for him. I'm happy about that. So there we go. 56 wins, he, uh, goals. He still got it, man. I mean, he's at 39 years of age, he still got uh, like scoring these goals like crazy. We've got um, the best player, uh, which was Ehlers, 103 points, 101 points for Marchand, uh, 100 points for Dubois boys, uh, Pasternak, Larkin, uh, Rask, Ischier, Hughes, Mackinnon, or Mackinnon and uh, Connor. All of these guys you can see right here. They're uh, producing basically 
Okay, so we got all that. And the defensive part, uh, the best defenseman was John Carlson, 77 points. McAvoy, Edmund, Petriangelo, Sergeyev, Yossi, Hamilton, Ellis, and Ekman, Larson, boys. Uh, we've got, hold on, not, that's not what I meant to do. Goalie-wise, I think the President's Trophy is going to get, uh, not the President's Trophy, but uh, the Vizina Trophy is going to get to Shishturkin this year. Most definitely, boys. He's got the most amount of wins by far. And uh, now, the saving percentage, it would have gotten to Vasilevsky, but just because of the 51 wins, Shishturkin's got that uh, that trophy all across the board right here. Man, Fleur is still getting 40 wins at 40 years of age, boys. Fleur, he is such, is such a beast, boys. God damn. I mean, he's got 618 wins. Now, hold on. I got to look it up really quick. I got to look it up. How many wins did uh, Brodeur had? We're going to have to look that up, boys. God damn. I think he, he's, if he plays another season, he's going to beat Brodeur in terms of wins. That's crazy. Rookie skaters. Let's take a look. Uh, Camden Mills, a medium elite player. Being the best uh, rookie, I guess, of the year. Let's take a look, boys, really quick. I, I want to see. Who the hell... Uh, let's take a look at the record books. Is he getting close? I've got to look at that. I know the record books are going to be uh, glitched out. They're always glitched out and stuff. But uh, uh, I want to see really quick. NHL. NHL. Most, most wins. So, okay, no. He's got... He's got 691 wins, so you can see. And uh, Fleur is basically got 618 wins. He's not that far behind. He's the second best goaltender of all time, but uh, he's still got some ways to go. So let's take a look at the Toronto Maple Leafs roster, boys, as we're going to go into the playoffs right here. I've wasted enough time already. Uh, it's going to be William Nylander, Matt Hughes, and Marner. What a goddamn first line. That's a stud-ass first line. That's a very dangerous one, boys. Uh, Robertson, Ta Tavares, and Malgin. So, an interesting second line. He doesn't have any wingers to play with him. He's got Malgin. I guess he's decent enough. But uh, Robertson's not going to do the trick. Uh, Coleman, Sezikis, uh, Lowry, Pacioretty, Jordan Stahl, and Wagner. So... They have got a lot of snipers and power forwards. I think uh, they're a very dangerous team, boys. Very dangerous team offensively. They've got uh, Riley, Lilligan playing together. Sindin and Myers. Dunn and Muti, uh, Nutivara. So they've got a really solid team all across the board. And they've got uh, Anderson and Tuka Rask coming back to Toronto as a backup. Interesting. And Okay, so that's basically what they got. So... They're a very dangerous team. It's going to be tough to beat them up, boys. It's definitely going to be tough to beat them up. We're, we're going to see if we can't, uh, like, beat them up. I just want to get past the first round. But I think against the Toronto Maple Leaf, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a hard one. Now, power play. Let's go. We were uh, the best power play team right here. Come on now. Matthews is going to score a goal. Mariner is going to score a goal. Damn. Back to back. All right. Alveson's going to answer back. That's good. That's really good. Let's answer back a little bit. No, Nylander. Yo, their first line. The three goals they scored were, the, were from the first line. We got to shut that first line down, boys. It's going to be dangerous. We're not going to... If we can't get past that first line, Tavares on the second line. God damn it. They've got like literally four players in the 90s. This is rough. This is really rough. I don't know how we're going to do this. Drew Dowdy. There it is. There's a goal by him at least. But I don't know how we're going to do this. This is why uh, discipline and poise is really important. These are the stats that count uh, when it's time for the uh, real-time simulation poise. For the playoffs, I swear. Come on, boys. Bounce back up. There's a goddamn long-ass penalty kill right there. There we go. A goal by Backstrom. We just need one more goal, boys. One more goal is such a, a, a close one. A close game. There we go, Klinberg is scoring a goal for us. Keep it up. There we go, we're going to overtime. Klinberg coming in clutch for us at two minutes left of the period, boys. Holy shit. We just got lucky on that one. Woo. That was a really close one. The uh, Toronto Maple Leafs are a tough team to beat, boys. Are right, we're coming in, boys. Let's see if my team can do the trick right here on the left side, of course. Let's do this, boys. You got this. Dowdy up to Klinberg. Up to Kako. Up to Larkin. Up to Kako. So 
we got my first line right here the best one of the best first lines of the entire league uh, you would argue it's on par with the Toronto Maple Leafs right here the two one of the two best first lines very dangerous let's see if we can make it done right here make it happen so do Dolly come on get the puck right here buddy don't let him in like that don't let him in no 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 my, oh my god Matthews was right open right there all right you're gonna have to go for a line change oh my god really you're gonna okay all right defense 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 oh my ch fucking Christ Matthews with that shot right there all right you gotta change you gotta change D-man shoot it there we go I'm gonna call for the shot right there uh by Dowdy just to save some time right here get the line changes in there Malgin's gonna try and out deep oh he's gonna get past the player holy shit my defense is weakening right now I don't know what's going on yo get the puck get the puck you're good you're good you're good Lafreniere up to Rackle boys up to Rackle all right uh we need some time right here I'm gonna keep it in there go Lafreniere go 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 you got the puck buddy you had the chance right there Malgin up to these guys okay we gotta watch out Robinson he's got the puck he's gonna get there oh what a save what a goddamn save by my goalie right here holy shit all right we gotta go for a line change everybody let the defense go for the line change right here uh first there we go Miller up the middle nice there we go JT Miller boys I think that's uh I think that's him what a goddamn goal saving our ass right now in the overtime oh my god Woo. that was a close ass one boys not an easy one at all we let like uh a two two or three times we uh we have let it uh, literally uh Matthews in the front of the slot trying to score like and stuff like that that's very dangerous actually that's not jt miller that's miller the uh, the defenseman right there that's our, our defenseman right there doing the trick that's fantastic though all right, let's skip to the next game. Now, I did not like, despite the, the, fight, the fight that we won, managed to win against the Toronto Maple Leafs, we actually got uh, we got outshot a big time at the beginning of this uh, period right here. So I'm not a big fan of how we played. Definitely not a big fan. I don't want to change the first line. First line's doing fantastic as it is. But um, I feel like uh, we might need to do something right here though. That was a, a pretty difficult one. I think uh, we probably want to have our best available options here. So we want to get, there we go. We want to get the best available players as much as possible. So I want to I have the guys that have uh, discipline up there, uh, I guess, playing the mo uh, most. So, uh, or the pose, I, poise, I guess. Poise, so 86 poise. He's got 86 as well uh he's got uh 86 as well so he's good on that part we're not changing that 79 of poise so we're not changing that uh that up right here we're not changing that at all uh larkin 86 of poise uh 90 of poise so backstrom you're going in the first line uh we're getting uh 95 of poise okay okay all right all right so malkin is going on the first line boys and we've got there we go just like that so 86 right here 86 as well uh we've got uh, 86 as well for you uh lafreniere and, and 90 so okay so i'm gonna keep it uh, i'm gonna keep it like uh i'm gonna keep it like that so all of a sudden in the there we go right here let's see if that's gonna work out boys i need the best defensive team possible right here we gotta shut it down boys we gotta shut it down big time all right shesterkin i know it's rough They've got a really strong ass first line right here, but uh, we really got to make something happen. All right. We got 58 wins in the season. They got 45. We were by, by far the best team of the uh, of the league. So and the best power play and everything. So if we get a power play, let's score in that power play. There's no reason as to why we shouldn't be able to score. We are uh, fantastic in the power play. Let's go, boys. New York Islanders. No patch already on the fourth line is going to get a goal. Wow. All right. Well. They're, they're not really outplaying us right now. It's a pretty close game once again. At least we didn't let them this time around. We, they're not like scoring like crazy. Uh, Ricard, Raquel, there we go. Klinberg scoring a goal for us. Fantastic. Another goal by Klinberg, boys. Coming in clutch for us. Now they're starting to outplay us just a little bit right here. So we got to be careful. Uh, one goal game is not enough against a team like the Toronto Maple Leafs. We got to really uh, score a little bit more right here. Okay. 
So we got past the se uh, the two first round, uh, second periods. Oh, power play goal for Mitch Marner. So we're taking penalties. That's going to hurt us, boys. Are we going to... Oh, God. Never mind. Suzuki is going to score a goal right there. That's probably going to be the winner for them. We're getting outshooted right there. Yeah, outplayed. Lowry is going to score a goal. Fuck, man. Oh, that's not good. No, Nylander on the empty net goal. Yeah, they're, they wrecked us right there. They got them wrecked us. That is not good. All right. Well, not much we can do, boys. Uh, this is rough. This is really rough. Uh, I'm scared. I don't want to, like, I do not want to be eliminated, boys. I really don't want to be eliminated here. We got to make something. We got to make something happen. All right. So let's put Dylan Narkin again back in here. I don't want to mess anything up. So we're going to put the same lines that uh, was the case pre uh, previously. Got to put the same lines in here. Uh, now, the main difference is uh, we're going to, we're not going to change anything right here. I just want to make sure. Just Turkin, you haven't been these uh, good enough for us right now. Keep it together, boy, buddy. We need you right now. We need you to play good. Come on. Fuck, man. We can't be eliminated right now. It's one goal away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on into the sec uh, third period. The entire third period, boys. Because I do not want to be eliminated. There is no way I'm going to be eliminated here. I can't allow this, boys, to happen. Let's go, boys. Now, they're getting, they're shooting us a little bit. They're all playing us. This is not good, boys. Not a good uh, feeling right now. Let's go. You got this. No, fucking Mitch Marner. Get away from my fucking net. Get him away, boys. Toss him. Injure him. Injure him or something. Do something. But don't hit him near the goddamn boards. I swear. Fucking Mitch Marner can do all his works all day, every day. He's just pissing me off right now, man. Oh my god, where are you going to up late? Vidi Dunn is going to score a goal. Malkin, there you go, replying right away. These Malkins there. Oh, we need a goal, boys. We need a fucking goal. Let's go. Don't At least don't allow any single other one, right, before the third period. All right, do not allow any other ones. We're jumping onto the third period, man. I'm not missing around here. I do not want to be eliminated. I'm going to be playing coach mode. I'm going to micromanage my team right here on the ice. If we lose, we lose, but at least we're going to lose with our uh, hands high up. All right, boys, we're going all or nothing right here in the third period. Oh, my God. Third period, third game. Let's see if we can't make anything happen. Shoot it, Cackle. There we go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do your thing. All right. Let's see if we can't make anything. Full four check right there. Klimberg. Go. Go. Go for the rebound. All right. Uh, you're going to have to. Okay, you're good. You're good. You don't need to change or anything. Uh, Dowdy. Go ahead. Does the defense need to change? They don't need to change. Keep it in there. Larkin. Up to Kako. Shoot it really quick. Rebound by Patterson. There we go, boys. I'm telling them to shoot it right now. I am really telling them to shoot it. All right. You guys are good. Uh, you got the aggressive. But full attack. Full attack. I don't want to be just aggressive and stuff. Finn Bird up to Kako. All right. Uh, you're going to have to go for a line change. Let the uh, the defense going for us, uh, first. All right. Defense went for the, uh, the, the change up. We're going to change uh, yeah, the lineups up a little bit. There we go. Offensive lines. Uh, Johansson. So this is um, Malkin's line right there. There we go. Malkin getting a nice ass chance right there. Right in front of the goalie. We're getting these chances, boys. Come on. Complete it. No, that's a bad pass. That's a bad pass by them, boys. Okay. Uh, yeah, or you're, you're fine. Keep it in there. I need my best lines right now on the ice. I need my best lines. Yo, go, go, go. Go, Lafrania. Go. All right, so, yeah, we're good. We're good on that part. We're good, good, good. Keep it, keep it, keep it right there, buddy. Keep it. Truba, you got it. Up to Rakko. Malkin, Malkin. Oh, my God. Woo! It went right past that. Okay, third defensive pair with uh, the third forward line right there. Oh, my God, you got this. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Win the face off. There we go, Backstrom. Getting a huge chance right there. Bushnevich. Up to Backstrom. Okay, so Anderson's going to have to stop that. Uh, we're going to get uh, that pressure right there. Holy shit. I'm so scared, boys. I'm literally so scared. We got eight minutes left. We got to score a goal or something. Make it happen, boys. Make it happen. Backstrom. Up to Zaitsev. Up to Bushnevich. Up to Olofsson. is going to get uh, a shot up front. Not going to work. Bushnevich up front. 
What a save by Frederick Anderson. Playing like an uh, absolute maniac right now. We're going to get the fourth line in there. Uh, middle stats, Boudin and Teravine and on the ice, boys. See if we can't uh, make anything happen right there. You got this, boys. Come on, you got this. Get it together. Get the puck. Get the puck. Board him or something. Don't let him in like that. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you got the puck. All right, good. Uh, Zaitsev is going to roll it back uh, up to, um, I believe, Boudin. Up to Teravine right here. Boudin. Oh, my God. He almost had a choice right there. A chance right there. He had a chance, boys. All right, uh, Boudin, shoot it, shoot it. Uh, get rid of it if you're going to go on the back end like that. Okay, you guys need to go for a line change. Uh, I'm going to wait for them to go for the line change really quick. All right, they're, they're dropping it up. Up to the first uh, defensive pair right there. Kako, rebound. There it is. Rebound shot for Panarin, boys. I think that's Panarin. It, no, it's Larkin. Dylan Larkin, boys. Number 70. Instead of setting one. Holy shit. Nice shot. Kako went for the shot rebound. Worked. Panarin, uh, Larkin's going to get that rebound. That's going to be a goal for us, boys. That's why I wanted to jump on in, boys. Get as many chances as possible on real time. It's way better that way. Oh, we're going to survive. Now, we're going probably going to go to overtime for that one, boys. So, watch out now. Finbert up to Kako. Uh, there we go, get a shot from Panarin right away. Kako is playing like, uh, on, he's on fire right now. There we go. Capo Kako is on fire right now. Let's get the third line in there. Uh, keep the first pair, uh, first pair defense in there as well. We just need some energy in here. Backstrom, you got this with uh, Olofsson and Buznevich. He's going to lose that face off. Damn, I, I, tr I trusted you, buddy. Trusted you to win that face off. All right, don't let him in. Good job, good job, Kimberg. Good job. Go in. Yeah, Backstrom up to Allison. Uh, we're going to change our pair in the defense. Never mind. We're going to drop the fucking puck right away. Okay. This they dumped it in, boys. They're trying to go to overtime as well. They don't want to waste uh, uh, waste it right there. Okay. So, Bushnevich. Oh, that was a nice try. Nice try for the pass. Uh, let's go for the fourth line right here. Go for the line change, boys. While you're at it, the defense is going to get it for you. Johansson, don't lose the puck. Don't lose the puck. There we go. Up to Truba, up to Middlestat, Boudin, up to Teravainen, Teravainen, shoot it. Nice, nice try, nice try. All right, so Truba, up to Middlestat, shoot it, shoot it, there we go. If you get it in front of that, uh, circle it in. We're going to go for the line change right here for the uh, forwards. Second line change right there, there we go. Five minutes, uh, five seconds left. And it uh, looks like, oh, uh, shoot it, there we go. Looks like we're going to overtime, boys. Let's get it done, boys. Uh, actually, I want to, to be put side attack a little bit. Pressure them a little bit more on the defensive par right here. Oh, okay. It's all good. It's all good. All right, so uh, puck side attack. Let's go. Puck side attack, boys. Don't let him in. Don't let him in. There we go. Prevent him. Prevent him from shooting. There we go. That was uh, Matthews right there. Uh, we're good on that part. We're going to keep the same lines right here. Let's go. You got this. You got them, Matthews. I... I I think they've got a better first line than mine, for sure. Just in terms of the overalls and stuff. But uh, we've got the chemistry, so let's get it going right there. There we go, Panarin. You got this, buddy. Yeah, get it up there. Oh, nice pass for Kako right there. Nice pass. Dylan Larkin right there is going to get the puck. Not going to work. Uh, go for line change. Go for the line change. There we go. Offensive side going for a line change. Uh, there we go. And uh, our goal attender... It's gonna uh, Shishturkin is gonna save that. Uh, I'm gonna go for a second pair of defense, second line with Malkin, Lafreniere, and Rackle, boys. You gotta know Lafreniere, you're you're goddamn part, you're you're literally uh, a playoff specialist, my guy. So let's go, do your thing, Malkin. You got this, buddy. Up to Lafreniere right there. Nice little try for a rebound, al al almost right there. You instant, that's a bad pass. That's a really bad pass. All right, go, go for a line change for the second line right there. Okay, I don't know what my team's doing. Holy shit. Just letting the players go in front right there. Okay. You know, I think uh, I think the problem is that right here. Let's just, there we go. Do normal, I guess. Keep it at normal. There we go. You instant up in front. Not going to work. Not going to work. Okay, go back for a fourth line right there. Fourth line. I'm going to need to change my line for the defense bar right there. Yeah, I need to change my defense. They're tired right now. They're tired. Uh, break it out. Break it out, boys. All right. Go. Go, go, go. Defense. 
Change it up for the third pair. Uh, right there. Get we go. Middle stat. Rebound. Scores. There it is, boys. We're moving on to the second round. We did it. Oh, my God. There's nice little plays, man. Rebound shots. Oh, we got lucky, too. We played a good enough defense. Stop them. They were dead in the tracks. I did so well. I think I, st I just saved my ass by going into the actual game right here. Tell me, guys, if you enjoyed this a lot more as well. Because I definitely do. It's uh, definitely a preventing me. I mean, if I'm in trouble of being eliminated, I would say, though, I, only, I can only do this once. I can only do this once per round, basically. I can only jump in into a game like this once per round. And uh, so I, it allows me, prevents me from cheating too much, you know. But uh, look at that, though. Oof. So if I'm in an elimination to, uh, like a situation for any round, I can jump on in for the third period and try my best to make my team, like, score some goals or something like that. I can try my best as coach mode, you know. So there it is. Oh, we survived the first round barely up against Toronto, maybe. I hope that we get to face a team that's a bit easier right now. Man, that first line was dangerous on the other side. Just too dangerous. Who are we, are we facing the second round right there, boys? I'm curious. Who is it going to be? It's going to be the Boston Bruins. Holy shit. Well, we're not going to get it easy. That's for sure. 49 wins for them this season. Uh, this is going to be a another tough one. Let's see what they got under the roster right here, boys. Uh, let's see what they got. So that's not the right team. Boston Bruins. All right. So they got Jesper Bratt, Victor Rask, and Pasternak. First line is kind of garbage. Pretty garbage. They've got Pasternak, but only 190 overall. Uh, Marchand, Galchenyuk, and Kratsov. Kratsov, 88 overall though, uh, overall, though. So that's really good. It looks like they've got wingers, but they don't have really anything. They've got a right winger, uh, good, but the rest is pretty much garbage. Vrana. Struenika, Hutala, Kraus, Ryan Suzuki, and uh, Philip Gauthier, boys. So, yeah, they 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 have depth, I guess. They have depth, but they don't have any studs, really. Zborel, McAvoy, Vekinainen, Ziver Severson, Olsen, and Carlson. All right, so they don't really have a defense. Defense is not good. They, they have some depth forwards, I guess, and they don't have a goalie. All right, so they ha they don't have goalies. They don't have defense. We could you should be able to score on them uh, like it is nothing, boys. So we should be able to outplay them at least. So let's jump onto the first game right here, right? It shouldn't be a trouble. Okay, well, first shot, first goal for Kratsov right away. That's great. We are getting actually outplayed somehow, even though they don't have any defense. What's going on here? Are we not like our defense is trash or something? Drew, Drew Dali, there it is. There's a goal for him. Tie it up, boys. Yeah, they're they're doubling the shots against us. But we're go there we go. Power play goal for Larkin. As long as we're scoring, uh, it doesn't matter. Oh my god. They are uh, playing us though. I don't know what's going on this year though. In terms of the playoffs, because we're getting outplayed by every by the both the teams we uh, went up against so far. Uh, I don't know, boys. It's kinda of dangerous. Yeah, very dangerous to getting outplayed like that. All right, uh, let's just see, I guess. You guys good. Go, go, go. You got it. Third round. There we go. To third goddamn period. A goal by Malkin. Uh, 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 Vrana's going to answer back. Oh, Ryan Suzuki's going to score. Tied it up. That is not good. Really not good. Okay. All right. You guys got it, man. Score another goal for us. Uh, there we go. Drew Dali, second goal of the game. Don't allow another one, Shesterkin. Shut it down. There we go. Boudin getting an empty net, boys. That's going to be a win for us. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Shesterkin needs to shut it down. He can't be allowing too many goals like these. Let's go, buddy. We're going to the second game. Now, we won the first game. I'm not changing too much. Uh, I think we're going to be fine right here. Let me just make sure, though. Uh, because who's producing right now? In terms of, uh, of wings. He's got two assists. He's got three assists. Lafreniere is going on the first round, uh, on the first line. Uh, Victor Olofsson is actually playing like uh, a monster right now. So I want to do that. And uh, he's got three assists. So yeah, 
Panarin, you're going on the second line, uh, on the fourth line, my guy. You're not producing right now. Seems like this guy's producing right here. Yeah, that first line is... I, I need that first, uh, that fourth line to produce a lot more, I think. Actually, you know what? Okay, so one goal. He's got uh, one goal. He's got no goals. No, but none of them have goals, so we're going to keep it like that. He's got two goals. I want uh, Malkin in there. He's got two goals as well. So Larkin, he's staying there. No goals, two things. Okay, one goal. Okay. Ones that are scoring goals, boys. That's the ones I'm keeping in there. Rackle, you're going in there. There we go. You got nothing. Okay, so you're going there. You're going there. And uh, yeah, okay. So Boudin's going the first line, boys. Rackle, there we go. Kako, yeah, he's got more points. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. It's what I'm doing right here, boys. Not changing the defensive pairings. Defensive pairings are fine as it is. But uh, we're going to change our offense, uh, offensive lines. See if uh, anything changes on that part. Let's go. Let's see if uh, anything makes a difference here. First shot, first goal once again for the Boston Bruins. Do not let up. We got a power play situation. A really long one. We, uh, we score right after it. I guess we didn't score during the power play. But we scored after it. Let's go. Bushnevich getting a goal for us. Vrana's going to get a second goal. What the hell? Oh, my God. Well, we're getting outplayed again. So, it's not much I can do right here. There's not much I know. Like, I don't really know what to do right here. Okay. Uh, power play for them. We shut it down. Okay. Uh, Shishturkin, this is the type of game you're going to have to play. You're going to have to outdo yourself, my guy. You're going to really have to play like you're supposed to play. Like a, a stud uh, goalie here. Because we're going to need you. See, we're not scoring goals in this game. We're not scoring goals. We're shutting it down a little bit. But uh, there we go. Boudin in the first line, boys. Scoring a goal for us. There we go. That's what I like to see, man. We got to just keep keep doing our thing right here. It's a really close game once again. And, uh, really tied up. Five minutes left. Shut it down, Shesterkin. Let's go to the overtime. Yeah, we're going to overtime, boys. Let's jump on in. All right, well, here goes nothing, boys, into overtime. Uh, this is the difference between us actually winning. Oh, actually, I, I'm, I'm actually, I forgot. I forgot to put myself, boys, as uh, select sides. I forgot to put, uh, put myself on coach mode right there. That's not good. Not good at all. All right, so we're probably going to lose that face off right here. Actually, we won it. The AI won it. There we go. All right, go, 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 boys. Go, go, go straight away, Boudin. Getting the shot right there against Merlidskins, uh, against Elvis. Now, that's the main difference between them and us in the actual time, like uh, simulation right here in the in game simulation. We got a much better goaltender and stuff. Klinberg getting a shot. Oh, the nice little rebound shots. So great saves by uh, Elvis right there, stopping it dead in his tracks. All right, stop him, stop him. Don't let him in. There we go. Good job, Klinberg and Dali. Good job. All right, go for the line change uh, defense. Go for the line change. Oh, nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Uh, do I need to go for a line change? Probably. Yeah, go for a line change right away right there. There we go. Let the defense take care of that. Yeah. Clint Bird and Dali, they've got it. They've got it all day and every day. Nice, nice, nice. Trying to uh, to take a tricky shot of the, the ice right there. I'm going to get the third uh, third pair in there. Third pair defensive. I got. I want to stay. Uh, keep them fresh, boys, during the entire uh, format right there. Miller up to. There we go. Up to the final. Back to Miller right here. Nice little uh, exchange. Keep it in there, boys. Malkin, you got the puck. You can definitely win that face off. Come on, buddy. Win that face off in the offensive zone. Damn, he's gonna lose it. Okay, so he's gonna lose that face off. That's fine. That's fine. Get the puck back. Uh, prevent Pasternak from moving in right there. He's the uh, most dangerous player uh, on the ice so uh, for the best Boston Bruins. So we got to be careful. All right. So we're good on that part. Uh, let's keep it together. There we go, uh, Miller. There we go. Just like that. Lafrenia is going to give us the victory, boys. And we're moving on to the third round just like that, man. The, the, the time, the simulation, man. The real game simulation. Is really helping me out because I know how to uh, how the, the, uh, the player works so I can set them up right in the actual game I can set them up right and save my ass every time uh, I'm just like if we just could get to overtime every time I would love it 
it would be a guaranteed win almost. So there we go. Lafreniere coming up clutch for us, boys. That's fantastic. All right, so we're going to advance the days here. Let's see if we're going to move uh, who we're going to be facing up. It might be, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be the uh, the Winnipeg Jets, boys. The, the Jets are going to be the ones we're going to be facing off against in the third round right here. I don't remember who beat us last year. I think it was the Oilers who beat us uh, last year and stuff like that. Or the Sabres. I'm not sure. But uh, this year we're facing up against the, the Jets. Let's see what they've got in front. Uh, we're going to see. Try and uh, outplay them maybe. So the Jets. What do you have? You have Vaselinen, Dubois and Shifley. All right. So they've got, uh, they've got a decent team right here. They've got a decent first line. Uh, Wheeler, Barbashev, Ehlers, okay, McGinn, Verhigi, Appleton, Nieto, Perfetti, and Pelek. So they've got an in-depth team and they've got some good pl uh, players up front as well. Uh, Morrissey, Orlev, Dermott, uh, Gustafsson, Fowler, and Butcher. They've got an in-depth defense, so they've got a decent defense. Sam uh, Samsonov and uh, uh, Subin, I guess. So they've got some good players. They definitely got some good players in there, so... That might be very interesting, boys. That might be very interesting indeed. All right. So what are we going to do here? Because uh, Panarin doesn't have any uh, goals. Lafreniere's got a goal right here. And he's actually better. Okay. So I'm going to put Lafreniere in there. Lafreniere is a, is a playoff performer. I do need to play Panarin in there, though. I do need to play him. I'm just going to get uh, the best offensive players possible right here. Chitty Malkin's doing really good this season, but uh, Backstrom even better. It's really producing well. So, uh, Boudin's got three goals. Boudin is producing, boys. I want to keep him in there. If he's producing, man, he's he's doing fantastic for us. So, yeah, I want to keep him in there. I think that's the best solution right now. Three goals. Kako's got three assists. Uh, I think I want to. I want Kako in there. There we go. So Backstrom, uh, Backstrom, Kako, Panarin, Malkin, uh, Rackle, and Teravinen. Okay, let's try that out. Actually, a sniper. We're going to need a sniper in here. There we go. Let's get Bushnevich in there, boys. Yeah, let's get it like that, I guess. that's uh, That should work out. That should work out just fine. Okay, so I think that's good. Let's uh, move up, boys. Let's go into the simulation here. Uh, I'm kind of scared. Let's hope that everything works out against the Winnipeg Jets. I really hope it does. I mean, uh, I just managed to save my ass against the other team, two teams. The problem is, oh, there we go. Larkin's got a goal right away. Good. Orlov's going to re uh, reply, though, straight away. So that's not good. But Lafreniere's going to reply once again. So, all right. Uh, that's uh, that's great. There we go. Malkin's going to get a goal. See, uh, that's uh, that's what I like to see. This is what I like to see from my team right here. I want, I want to see that more often. Can, can we have an actual round, uh, a round of the playoffs where everything goes uh, uh, a little bit easier for us? There we go. Larkin, a second goal for him right there. I might have got the, the I might have the right lineups right here, it looks like. There we go. It's working out on the first line because they've got someone like Boudin, who's a really great player as well. You know, it's going to be a stud for us once he grows. I think uh, playing on the first line for uh, the actual playoffs and stuff you gotta play the players that you know are gonna score goals are gonna pass the puck a lot you know you're gonna play you have to play the ones that you know are gonna produce and yeah, there we go Olofsson just like that Bushnevich another goal for him so this is basically a blowout match uh, we're uh, definitely dominating the Winnipeg Jets in this first game right here nothing to see really it's a complete domination all across the board right here so we can move on straight away from the to the second game right here. I mean, they have a decent uh, team, but uh, I don't think it's uh, it's not the like we have a much better team. And Nafanya, you can see on the first line, he's doing great. He's doing great on the second line, uh, on the first line. He's a first liner, boys. Nafanya is a first liner. Problem is uh, with Panarin being there all the time, you know, uh, that's what's preventing him from always playing on the first line. But he's he's a great player. There we go, Lafanya. He's a stud in the playoffs. Lafagna is a stud in the playoffs. Now Dubois is going to get a goal for them. So their big time players are uh, showing up in this game. Uh, the big players for Winnipeg are showing up. Uh, I hope that we're going to be able to score like the other game. That would be great. If we could just do that, boys. Come on. 
Yeah, come on, boys. Now we're getting outplayed a little bit. It's, uh, it's kind of similar to the other games uh, we had against Boston Bruins and Toronto Maple Leafs right here. We got to get a goal, simulation goal or something. We're going to get to the third uh, third period with nothing. All right, third period with only one goal, I guess. Oh, my God. Shut it down. Okay, so Shesterkin, shut it down, buddy. Fuck. All right, don't shut it down then. Don't shut it down. Just give, yeah, give them a couple of goals, I guess. Whatever. This game, we lost it already. So we lost that game. Uh, Joanson's going to get a goal, a quick and easy goal for us. But uh, yeah, that's a bit too late. A bit too late for that. Uh, we gave up like three goals in uh, too much uh, too much of uh, time on ice. So looks like they got the upper hand on that for a second game. I don't know how that happened, boys. That's an interesting one for sure. Definitely an interesting one. I did not expect that whatsoever. Let's jump on into the third game. Uh, let's see how the third game is going to go. Are we going to have to actually jump on into the actual third period here? This is going to be a longer video for sure. It's definitely going to be a longer video, boys, than the usual. Um, the usual one. Just because I'm going to jump on into uh, in-game simulation a lot more often, it looks like. From now on when I'm on the playoffs. But, you know, it's worth it if I can get the wins, you know. There we go. Kako's gonna get a, a, the first goal of the of the game right here. Yeah, it's worth it if I can get the wins and get the the cup. You know, if it makes me win the cup, I'm more I'm more likely to do it that way. There we go. Panarin getting us uh, getting a goal in the second line. We're gonna penalty kill. We kill it off. There we go, boys. Good play right there. We're out playing uh, these guys. We're actually it's a pretty close game this time around. Let's go into the third period. I don't have anything to say to you guys. Let's just uh, keep make sure that Shesterkin plays well, right? Shesterkin just got to shut it down, buddy. Do your thing. And we should be all right. All right. So we are definitely a better team than them. We shouldn't have any trouble against them or anything. Shut it down. Three minutes left. One minute left. And there it is. Shut them down big time. Two nothing. And uh, there's the victory, boys. We are moving on for the second time in three years into the Stanley Cup Finals. Are we going to be able to go? Oh, we're going up against the Colorado Avalanche. That's the team that won the Cup last year. So the defending Stanley Cup champions. Okay, all right. That's an interesting one. So we won the Cup. They win the Cup afterwards. And then it's both the fir the former teams. So the two former uh, winning uh, winners for the cup are facing off against each other in the finals right here. That's a very interesting one, boys. So Avalanche, let's take a look at you, buddy. Colorado, what do you have? Kaprasov, Mekinen, and Grenlin. Now they've got two big-time players. Sniper and Playmaker playing together. Yeah. First line, watch out for that first line. It's going to be dangerous. Lendeskog, er, uh, Erdl, and Rentinen. Second line is going to be dangerous as well. Yotes, Kempe, Mishushkin. Third line's dangerous. Kreider, Taze, and Achari. So they've got a really good uh, forward team. Byron, Mekar, Girard, T Timmins, Robinson, Brody. They've got a really good defense. Goalies, they don't have any goalies. All right. Well, they don't have any goalies. We got to beat Renta. It's got them Renta 81 overall in the net. We got to beat him up, boys. We got to do it. Let's take a look at the roster. Make sure that I do the right uh, lineups right here. So these guys are playing well together. They're playing very well together. Yeah, I like to see that. Uh, I, I think I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to keep it like that. It looks like my players are playing uh, kind of well together. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to keep it like that, boys. Players are doing well. Let's not change anything right now. We're going to try with these lineups. We're going to try the first game against the defending Stanley Cup champions. There we go. Johansson getting first shot, first goal for us. That's perfect. That's perfect. Looks like we are a little bit outplaying them. That's fantastic. Let's keep uh, doing our thing right here. We can definitely get uh, easy goals on them. I mean, they don't have any goaltenders. Now, they got the defense to shut it down, though. Oh, Ertol and Mekinen, they can definitely just do that right away. I mean, they can shoot it. They can just score as many goals as they want. I think this might be a shootout fest, boys. Power play goal for Panarin. There we go. Uh, this might be a shootout fest. This might be uh, all, uh, all guns blazing right here. 
uh, the one thing that's going to make the difference is if uh, Shishterkin uh, plays like a stud or not, you know. Uh, there we go. Kaprasov on the first line getting a goal for them. God damn it, man. We got to compete with uh, par on par with a goddamn stud ass team on the offensive part. I mean, we got the offense as well, but uh, I don't know, boys. I don't know. They've got the defense. Uh, Rickard Reckle. There we go. Get a goal. Truba. The defense showing up for us right now. There it is. Uh, I gotta say, the defense really helped us out uh, during this entire playoff, boys, so far. Defense really played uh, really strong for us so far. So, oh, power play goal at the last minute left. Who took a penalty right there? We could have easily won that game right there. We took a penalty and Jihad's gonna score one on power play. Who took that penalty? Fucking Larkin, really slashing? You're gonna take a penalty at the end right there? You stupid idiot. All right, let's jump on into the play, uh, overtime. All right, let's do this, boys. Overtime up against the Colorado Avalanche with the uh they've got uh these classics uh classic new uh, uh, Nordiques uh jerseys on right there. All right, you got the puck. Boudin shoot it. There we go. I like him. I I really like him to shoot it like that. There we go. Lafreniere, you got it. There we go. All right, shoot it in front there. Oh, just like that. Well, that was an easy one. Dowdy right in the middle. That was a, just a quick shot. I just told him to shoot it, boys. He's going to score it. All right. Well, just like that, boys. That allows us to move on to the second game right here. What a win. A nice and quick win. I'm telling you, we're not getting defeated in the overtime. Overtime is my my thing i want to go overtime all day every day you do not want to go overtime with me you want to you want to lo win against me in the real time simulation you got to win in uh, regulation that's just how it works boys all right so we won the first game not too convinced about our performance right here it was pretty much a tie up be a really close game with the colorado Ava avalanche and they're, if they're going to get the first shot for his goal like that that's on their part they're gonna get the advantage right here. We're gonna be careful. We can't give them that. There's a lot of first shot, first goals in the playoffs this year that happen. No, I don't like that. I really don't like that. I don't know what Shishterkin's doing. There we go. Malkin on the third line is gonna get a goal for us. See, this is um, this is uh, the uh, this is what I want, boys. I want you to produce. Uh, no matter what happens here, I might jump in because the the cup is on the uh the stadium right here. Mikkinen's gonna score a goal for them. Come on, boys. We're out shooting them. We're out playing them. We gotta we gotta outscore them as well. Come on. There's no way, man. We gotta outscore them. Let's go. Third period right here. God damn it. Alright, Grenland's gonna get a goal. So, like, what the hell's going on here? Okay, Kaprasov. Alright, well it's that game, boys. It's that one game in the in the round where we gotta sh we gotta shit the bed completely. We got we don't have any we didn't have any defense in that one no defense whatsoever they've got goddamn a garbage goalie in the net they're gonna he's gonna outplay my goalie i mean i've got shishturkin 88 overall versus an 81 a renta and renta's gonna uh, i guess he's the beast in that situation not uh, shishturkin all right well it's all or nothing it's all or nothing last game boys Whoever wins it, wins it. It's either we win it and we win a second cup in three years. Or it's uh, the Colorado Avalanche who beat us. And they win a second in a, in a row, I guess. So that's interesting. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, do I have to change anything right here? I don't want to change anything. These guys are playing well together. They're playing. Everybody's playing well together. Now the first, the fourth line, not so much. Not so much about the fourth line. So... I think I'm gonna have to put uh, Malkin in there. I think, or maybe you know, uh, let's try something out. Let's go. Let's try Malkin right in the second line and Backstrom on the third line. Let's try that one out. Maybe that's uh, that's uh, gonna work. And actually, we could Raquel was a uh, scoring goal for us, right? I think he was scoring goals uh, for us a little bit or earlier on. Bushnevich did score some goals for us, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Capo Caco sniper. Playmaker, sniper. Yeah, I think everybody's got that sniper on the line, so we should be all right. Should be all right, boys. Uh, let's get it together. This is our chance. No first goal, first shot, all right? Do not get a 
Do not be do not get scored on the first shot. There we go. All right, good. Third shot for us. Fourth shot for us right away. Third and fourth shot. Rackle and Larkin scoring for us. Now they're going to score a goal and their fifth shot. Mackinnon's going to score one. We got to watch out for Mackinnon, but uh, there we go. Truba answering back and did some small line changes between Backstrom and Malkin. Look at what happens, boys. We're uh, we're producing in the first line, uh, first period. Power play, we didn't uh, we didn't uh, kind of manage to do anything on it. Second uh, second um, period, let's go, boys. That's a really close game, but Panarin's gonna get a power play goal just like that. Good, good. Beat their ass, boys. Beat their ass. Show them that uh, if it wasn't for the fact that we got eliminated last year in the first round, we would have won it. Uh, like that would have been right now our third uh, cup in a row. Show them. There's no way, man. We are much better than the Colorado Avalanche. Let's go. Let's do this, boys. Now, we are going to jump in into the last uh, two minutes or something in the, of the game just to watch the celebration and everything. So watch out right there. Three minutes, two minutes. Stop, 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 stop. I couldn't watch it. Ah, damn it. Damn it, boys. All right, well... Uh, I guess we couldn't watch it, the the watch the uh, the celebration. I I didn't manage to do it, boys. Oh well, it's fine. Let's just imagine I got the celebration and everything. Uh, I'm really happy. There it is, boys. So I couldn't jump in. I I messed it up right there. That's fine. There's a cup, boys. We won the cup once again. Second cup, Stan second Stanley Cup win in three years. Crazy. That's what I like to see. That's exactly what I like to see right there. We did it, boys. And I remember that day, remember that time in the first round I was getting eliminated the third game against the Toronto Maple Leafs. I decided to jump on into the third period to do the entire thing to save my own ass and it did save my ass and we won the game. The first year it was the Carolina uh, the Hurricanes. After that, it was the uh, the Panthers, but then we won the cup on the on our third year only under as GM. We won the cup. Uh, we got eliminated in the first round. Was kind of a bummer. I don't know what happened there. Was kind of a an, an, a weird year last year. But then we bounced back up. We face off against the actual uh, win, uh, Stanley Cup champions, and we defeat them. And we win the cup for a second time in three years, boys. Now, if we take a look at uh, its team awards, right? So team awards, uh, let's take a look real quick. President's Trophy, second time in three years as well. So now, if you, if you take, think about it, every time we win the President's Trophy, we basically win the cup as well. It's as simple as that. Clarence Campbell going into us and stuff. I'm really happy, boys. Did it once again. Managed to win the cup. Super happy. I'll see you guys for the next video. We're going to stop it right now. Remember to leave a like and if you didn't enjoy this video, keep it easy.